Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Focus Atlanta. I am your host, Keisha Lance Lynn. Thanks so much for tuning in with us this Sunday afternoon. In our first segment, we're going to talk a little bit about traveling and avoiding the germs of traveling. I'm here with Tina Woods from American Family Care. Tina, thanks so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. As a nurse practitioner, I would imagine you get these kind of questions from family and friends all the time. So give me a little, oh. give me a little taste of what you tell them about travel germs. So travel germs, people don't really realize that, you know, when you're traveling, your car has so many germs in it. You know, you're looking at your steering wheel, your cup holder, the gear shift door handles, so forth. You know, the steering wheel has uh, over 400 bacteria just on the steering wheel, which, which can be worse than your toilet seat at home. <laughs> so your car is pretty gross to think about it. And there's over 700 million back, uh, 700 bacteria in your car in general, in the areas that are mostly touched, once again, like steering wheel, door handles, cup holders, the gear shift, things like that. They just need to be sanitized, disinfected the best you can. You know, you're looking at your seat belts as well. Just disinfect, you know, using any type of disinfectant wipes uh, that's compatible with your uh, vehicle oh um, to sanitize the inside of your car. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I never thought about it. I mean, you're, you're completely, I mean, it makes complete sense, uh, you know, as, as frequently as we're in there and we're, we've been mm -hmm. doing whatever at the store or at the grocery store or whatever, and then we get right mm -hmm. back into the car. But I never even considered what kind of germs were sitting in the car with me. So um, how often should we do the wipe down? Is this something we should do daily when we get in the car in the morning, kind of wipe it down with, or pull out the Lysol? Like, what are you telling people? Well, I tell people it, it depends too uh, on their job, what they do for their job. If they're in the medical field, it certainly should be wiped down at least daily. Um, other people, you know, it just depends on how much they use their car, it could be, twice a week, once a week, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, now are, are these things that we are passing along to other people? I mean, like once we're, we're, we're in the car and we're doing our steering wheel and all that kind of stuff, is this something we should be concerned about like taking into the house as well? Like should we start putting this, the, uh, the sa hand sanitizer right by the door for when we come in? Like or is there anything we could do to prevent bringing it other places? Yes, ma'am. Um, everyone should carry some type of hand sanitizer with them you can get the liquid hand sanitizer you can get the sanitizing wipes uh they're pretty easy to to carry around with you of course you know if you have access to soap and water is always good if you get to a loved one's house you can wash up but you should always carry hand sanitizer or those sanitizing wipes with you okay now you're you're our neighborhood nurse Practitioner, I'm gonna, I want the scoop from you. Do you literally have Lysol in the car next to you? I mean, in, this, in the passenger seat next to you? Like, what do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Yes. I have the wipes to wipe down, you know, because I am, you know, in a high risk area, work area. So I have the, personally, I have the sanitizing wipes in my car. And I have the little bottle of hand sanitizer in my work bag. So I kind of do the hand sanitizing on the way out. Then when I get in the car, I get the wipes and that's when I wipe things uh, down. Okay, all right. Well, now that we've heard it from the expert, every, <laughs> everybody knows it's real. <laughs> Well, I can't it let you. Real. I can't let you real. get out of here then without uh, giving us a website. Like, where can we find our neighborhood uh, American Family Care? Th those kind of things. Uh, there is a website. It's afcurgentcare.com for more information. Uh, the closest AFC will pop up. Um, but when you start experiencing, you know, any code symptoms, you need to come and get in front of a provider. You know, because we can test at American Family Care, we can test for COVID, flu, even strep. You know, there's other viruses and other bacteria going around as well. So, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you have a ha happy holidays. Well, I hope you do too. Thank you so much. Absolutely. 
All right, Tina's giving you the scoop and it's coming straight from the expert's mouth, so you know what to do. Get that hand sanitizer, get those, um, you know, Lysol wipes or whatever wipes, antibacterial wipes that you use. Um, make sure that we're wiping down the car. I know you hadn't thought about it because I hadn't thought about it, but a lot of germs are in that car with you. So let's try to go into this holiday season well, in good health, and without germs. Thanks for tuning in to this segment of Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back with more. Oh,